Hello and welcome to this case from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. This case was a seven-year-old female neutered domestic short-haired cat with a history of inappetence and lethargy who collapsed the day before but recovered with conservative treatment. So let's have a look at some of these images from the abdominal ultrasound. So here we've got the liver. We've got the diaphragm down here, this hyperechoic line, um, and we've got the liver parenchyma in here. We've got the gallbladder in this section here. This is a moving image, and in this gallbladder there is a little bit of sediment. It's a little bit difficult to see on this image, um, some hyperechoic sediment falling to the dependent side. On this image, we've got um, the region of the left limb of the pancreas. So we've got the spleen in the near field. We've got the stomach, cranial. Um, and we, to get our landmarks for the left limb of the pancreas, we really want the left kidney or the transverse colon on the right hand side of the image. However, we're pretty close to that. And we've got the splenic vessels coming in here. And this hypoechoic structure here is actually the left limb of the pancreas. Now that is quite dark compared to the surrounding tissue, um, so that is uh, an indicator for pancreatitis. Here we can see a moving image, so we've got our spleen in the near field, we've got our stomach popping in and out of view and a kidney popping in and out of view. We've got loops of intestine and there we've got our left limb of the pancreas. So here focusing a bit more on this left limb of the pancreas, which we can see here, this hypoechoic structure we can just about make out the pancreatic duct running through the center of it. Um, but certainly this is a very prominent left limb of the pancreas, very um, um, uh, dark, much darker hypoechoic than we'd expect and a surrounding tissue much brighter than we'd expect. Moving on to looking at the intestines. So here we have a loop of jejunum in longitudinal. So we've got the lumen running through the center, the dark mucosa, the lighter submucosa, the darker muscularis, and then the bright white serosa on the outside. Now we're measuring from the lumen to the edge of the serosa, and that's coming out at um, 0.2 centimeters. So it's not particularly thickened. I would just mention that I think the muscularis is slightly more prominent than, than usual. So that can be an indicator of inflammatory bowel disease. Um, it can also be lymphoma, but this is a really subtle change in this cat. So just a moving image, we can see that bright lumen running through the center of the two walls that we can see. So in this case, we had uh, sediment in the gallbladder, which indicates a slight delay in biliary emptying. This can be seen with cholecystitis, uh, but it can also be an incidental finding. The muscularis wall layer in the small intestine was very slightly more prominent than we'd expect. This can be increased with inflammatory bowel disease and with neoplasia like lymphoma. Biopsy would be required to diagnose that. And there was also some evidence of pancreatitis, so the pancreas was much darker than we'd expect and the surrounding tissue much brighter. And we see that because there's a steatitis, so the fat is more reactive around the pancreas, so it makes the pancreas more prominent. So combined, these three things might indicate a triaditis.